Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Kate and today we're going to be filming a holiday, Christmas, makeup tutorial, whatever you would like to call it. Um, I did also film an easy holiday makeup tutorial. If you wanted to check that out, it will be linked um, down below. If you wanted to know how I did my face makeup, I did a full face makeup routine. You can check out. It will be linked right here. Click on it now or you should do after after this video so you can watch all this through and then watch fall face makeup tutorial. Let's get started and jump right into this holiday makeup tutorial. I am going to be using the Tarte Pro palette. I'm using this palette because it had a wide range of fall holiday colors that I like to choose and it was all in that one palette. I also will probably be dipping into a glitter. Um, I'm not sure yet if I'm going to be using the Stila or one of my NYX glitters that I have. Um, these little two things. We're going to be seeing what happens, how we feel, and we'll decide once we get to that point. To start off, as always, priming our eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Original. Okay, so the first shade we're going to dip into is this top one, Classic. Now this is going to be our transition shade, and we're just going to be putting this on our entire eye. Just patting this on. Now I picked this shade because it is one of the closest ones to my natural skin tone. Sometimes I will do a lighter one because I like having the wider um, under transition shade, but I also use a skin tone shade a lot. Just depends on what I'm feeling, what I want that time. Also, transition shades are very vital, I feel like, and very helpful when you are blending a lot of colors, especially if you are going to be using some darker colors like we are today, so please do not skip that step. I promise it will help you in the end. Now to start building up our colors in our crease, we are going to go in with the shade Bold, which is down here, and I'm just going to be taking this on my outer lid area and start working it in the crease like this. Now I am going to be working it a little high. This is one of the colors I am going to be taking a little higher. I'm not going to be taking too many dark colors up there, but this is a lighter one and I want to make sure I get them all blended out. And then I'm also going to start working it into my inner right here. And I'm just going to be laying a tiny bit right there and then working it up. This is a crease brush and I also like blending with these. So now that we have that one on, I'm going to go into the shade Mauve right here, which is this like mauve red tone one. Now this one I'm just taking on a tiny brush right here. It's one of the Anastasia end brushes. And I'm going to be following what I just did with shade Bold, but I'm going to be keeping this more in the crease and not really putting too much in the inner right here. So keep on the outer and work it a tiny bit into the crease here. Now if it is messy, it's fine. You'll blend it out, like, no big deal. Now I'm gonna be taking the same brush that I just used to blend this all in together. And then I'm actually gonna be taking some more of Mod and putting that in my crease. So I get more of that shade right there. I'm literally just gonna be putting it like that and blending it out. And you can tell I am blending it just in the outer and then working it away into the crease, not putting it into the inner corner right here. That is because I do not want that red tone in that area. Now that we have all these um, fun colors on it, I'm going to go in with this soft definer brush. It is a very like loose, flat brush at the end. And I'm going to go in and dip in shade Punk. Now I'm going to go dip this in very small amounts at a time. It is a very dark black shade. So you want to be careful with how much you add at a time. And blending is the absolute key in this look. You want to make sure you blend everything out and it doesn't get too dark. So work little at a time and you will be safe. You are in control of the eyeshadow. The eyeshadow does not control you. And I'm gonna be putting this on the outer corner right here, not working it too much into the crease. Then just slowly work it up. Now when I blend this out, it will work its way into the crease a little, but I do not wanna be the one that initially puts it there. 
and then taking the same blending brush we have been using this time and just start blending all of that out. Now I'm going to be working slower with this so I can see exactly where it is blending into. I'm going to be keeping on the outer area in the outer crease area, slightly blending it in. And if you need to, you can easily go in with more black. Just be careful with how much you add and then you can build upon it. Once I get here, I'm going to start adding more black. I'm going in with a smaller brush to add more black onto it so I can see exactly where it is going. Taking that same small brush, I'm going to be taking some and just going in the crease area. So you pat it down a little bit and then just slightly drag it in. Now this, what I'm doing now, I'm not going to be really blending it because I don't want to get too much black on the inner area. It's just a little color there. Darken the crease. Okay, so now we have reached the point of deciding what we want on our main lid color. Now, this would look really good with gold, but I think I'm going to do this silver. Now, this is the NYX glitter in six. So to put this on, I'm going to be using the NYX glitter primer. And I just squirt some on the back of my hand here. And what I like to do is prime the area I'm going to be putting it first and then casually put some glitter on it. And then if I need to put more primer on to make it stick more, I can. But I just want to kind of map out where I'm putting it. So we're going on the inner area right here where we didn't really put any eyeshadow. You want to try and keep it on the lid in the most part and slowly work it into the darker black. You want to be careful with making sure you have the right amount of black and glitter overlapping so it does not look like just a plain line separating it. You need to make it look like a smooth transition. Now for the glitter part, what I do is I just unscrew the lid a little bit and then dump some in it. Once I have some in the lid, I take the same brush I put the primer on and just put it on there like so. Now you just press it on. This is where you kind of work a little bit into the back and if it does have like a weird awkward line you can always add a little more black onto the glitter area which we will do at the end just to make sure everything is flowing nicely. Now that we have the glitter on I just take that small brush we had, dip it into the black and you kind of just push it there. And you kind of just lay it over the black again just to make sure none of that glitter went on it and just to even everything out. This is also when I take it and put it into the crease just to swipe any of that glitter that went in there away. But for eyeliner, we're going to be using the Marc Jacobs Black. And I'm not putting on the any on the like upper lid, but I'm putting some on the bottom waterline. Now this really just darkens the look a bit more. And then I'm gonna be taking that small brush we had the black on and just lining the under lashes to get a little shadow there. And then for mascara, we're using the Too Faced Better Than Sex and just putting that on our lashes and like normal people do. Cool. For our lip color, we're gonna be using this NYX Cosmetic Soft Matte Lip Cream in Copenhagen. I use this for the holiday tutorial too and I really liked how it turned out. So I'm gonna use it again, cause I can. To prime, or no, to set our face. Priming is the first step, setting is the last. <laughs> Sorry. We're going to be using the Ben Nye Final Seal Setting Spray. I hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial and if you want to check out the other tutorial I'm posting 
Make sure you guys like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow all my social media listed down below. As always, I am Kate, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!